Good evening, 47. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. Okay, and welcome back. We are attempting the Heartbreaker number two, which is really just the Heartbreaker number one, but I'm not complaining. Actually, I'm complaining a little bit, but I'm not complaining because I get a chance to sasso this guy, and I've just come up with the greatest way to do it. As you can see, he's about to die right there. Thankfully, I didn't fail. <laughs> Very thankful for that one, but we're going to get right into it. So, yeah. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna kill this sleaze ball and potentially save a lot of lives. Welcome to Mendoza 47. It seems you've arrived just in time. Your target is showing off the grounds of Vinedo Yates to his current clients and potential victims, Michelle Pacheco and Phoebe Morris. I doubt Newcomb's assassination is on the couple's gift registry, but given his intentions, it's better than silverware. Alright, so we're gonna very quickly, mind you, get into position to take the first shot. Hopefully the only shot I will have to take. Uh, yeah, there he goes, there he goes, good, good. We're just gonna stand over here, we're gonna pull out my Would be Romeo and establish killer. Got him, yeah, excellent, excellent. Alright, so, we've got it. Certainly not the most elegant way to go about it. A lot of risk. Uh, before I was waiting like five minutes to have him come downstairs. And yeah, that, that didn't work out too well. But this time, we're just going to drown him and make a clean exit. It's going to be good fun. Thankfully, these ladies don't follow us into the bathroom. Otherwise, that could be a real problem. At least they're reasonable. Don't mind me, just helping my friend, he's very sick. And... dead. Of course, uh, there's no real way to... Expect the client's payment and a tasteful thank you card shortly. Goody. Alright, now we just need to get out of here. Um, what are some of the exits we have available, actually? There's one up there. I'm not sure what that one is. Um, can I get out the way I came in? I can't, can I? Oh, shoot. You know, I didn't even think of planning an exit because, you know, <laughs> apparently I'm very stupid. Um, okay, we'll grab this just in case we need it. Um, oh, I'm really hoping I can get out this way. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, right, so we can't be spotted. If we're spotted, we fail Sasso. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay. We got two guards coming this way. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, right. Can I hide in there? I don't know. 
You saw nothing, buddy. You saw nothing. Oh shit. Well, this is very bad. Alright, let's do this quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright! Haha! And that is Silent Assassin suit only in what? Uh, I didn't actually check the time as I hit the exit, but that was really risky. I am very stupid for trying it that way, but hey. Heartbreaker, Silent Assassin, excellent. 6,000 points, uh, 3 minutes, 55 seconds. That's pretty good. I like it. Alrighty, well, thank you all for joining me. Uh, I'm looking to do some more Hitman content at the moment, and uh, some more Minecraft content. I promise I will get back into my vanilla series. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one, and goodbye.